Hello everyone, I am back with a few more D-Stash slots, and in the interest of time, I am just going to jump right into it. I have three lots available this time around, and I'm hoping that I can get through this in one video. I may have to split it into two videos. There's quite a bit in two of the lots. Um, and then make sure you stay until the end of the video. I have um, something else that I want to show you. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I will get started with the smallest lot first. And this is a fun little group. Here is the first lot. It's going to be a mix of Snow White, Mickey, Donald Duck, and Disney princesses. So here you go. This is a pretty big sheet of vintage gift wrap. It does have a few issues, but um, nonetheless, it will still be great for craft projects or junk journals. And I looked for a date. Sometimes they have a date around the corner of the paper. I could not find a date other than, let's see here. It does have Walt Disney productions on some of the images. Next thing is this vintage wrapping paper. This is probably, I don't know how old this is. I would say um, pre 90s, possibly in the 80s or maybe even 70s. I'm not positive, but this is probably 90s. And it is adorable. So you get one sheet. And again, there's some issues around the corners, but um, not too bad. Okay, and then you will get this booklet here and it has songs and it is dated 1990 so I will just quickly try to show you some of the images so you know what you are getting sometimes I I always say that I'm going to quickly go through this stuff but that never happens so it's just I love looking at this stuff. I love using this stuff. And so sometimes it's difficult just to hurry up and get through. But this is dated, I believe, oh, maybe not. I thought I saw a date on this, but I guess I'm mistaken. So it's just some Donald Duck stamps. They are vintage. I never had a chance to use them. So I need to make some room, so I am going to pass them along. Here we have some vintage Mickey Mouse flashcards. These are so adorable. 1989. And I don't know that they're all in here, but really cute images. That one is so adorable. I love the birds. There's Mickey. So just all sorts. So as I said, this is the smallest lot. Um, this one is going to be $22 shipped. So if you are interested, I will leave my information below. Okay, so here we go with the next lot. And um, there's quite a bit in this lot. So hopefully I can get through it pretty quickly. But once again, I just don't know if that's going to happen. So here is the first thing. We have some Barbie gift wrap. This is vintage. Um, I don't believe I found a date on this one, but let's see what this says here. No, it's, there has been one little section here cut out, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape for being vintage paper. Um, and I guess there's a little rip there and it does have some discoloration on the back side. Okay. So I sorted through my vintage wrapping paper and, um, if you're not aware or you have not been following me, I have been 
trying to get my new craft space work area set up and I gave myself some goals in order to get moved back into the room. I have limited storage and so I want to um, make sure that I'm not bringing everything. And so I told myself that I am going to use the storage that I have and whatever does not fit I need to consider downsizing. So I went through my vintage wrapping papers and I love them, but um, unfortunately they are going to have to uh, find a new home, hopefully find a new home I should say. So I just love them, but um, I'm ready to give them up and look at this. This is so pretty. And again, I don't know if I found dates on these. I can't remember, but this is definitely um, maybe 70s, 80s. So pretty. And there's, there's a good size piece for this one. It's just beautiful. I just love it. And then the next piece is going to be Betsy Clark. I'm sure some of you recognize this print. And um, I thought this was dated, but I guess not. I guess I'm going crazy. Um, it is Hallmark cards, as some of you probably know that already, but it is so cute. Okay, and then we have this gift wrap. There's obviously a portion taken out. This is um, Elena Urchins, and this is probably 70s, if I had to guess. And it is also adorable. There's quite a bit here, but there are some sections where some of it... Some of it um, has been cut out, so you will get that. Then we have this 1961 Barbie pattern, and I opened it. It looks like some of it, if not all of it, um, has been cut out, but um, you can definitely, as a crafter, you know that you can use just about anything for craft projects or junk journals. Um, I don't know what this is about. I think I found this in an old book, but it's just a bunch of little news articles penned together. Canteen gets gift of 29 dozen eggs. You know, with the cost of eggs right now, I wish I could get a gift of eggs. We go through so many eggs and they are so expensive right now. But, um, that's kind of cool. So somebody must have saved all of these. It must have meant something uh, to them. And let's see if we can find a date on this. See what I mean? I just, I get so caught up in looking at this stuff because I just love it so much. And look at the, I'm just going to take this apart. You can sew this yourself. That is so cute. That is already cut perfect for um, an insert in a junk journal. That is adorable. I probably should have looked through this before I started filming because I just get so caught up. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on. Here is, um, I don't know if this is 1933 but it's some sort of cookbook and okay it's saying copyright 1932 so it must be 33 and this I kind of flipped through and it had some really nice images There was some, look at that one. That is so pretty. See, I look through this stuff and now I want to keep it. So I need to just get through it and 
hopefully someone wants it so I can move it on to a new home. I thought I saw something else I really wanted to show you, but um, I don't know. So pretty. Okay, we need to move on. Here is a vintage children's book. At this rate, I'm never going to get through this. <laughs> Okay, this is 1978, and it just had some really nice images in there. So let me see if I can step this up somewhat. I probably can't, but I'm going to try. Uh, 1986, special pages for your pocket day timer. So that is a cool, I think... I don't remember purchasing this. I usually remember purchasing things. So I must have had that for a super long time. Here we have, this is dated February 7th, 19 something. Um, I, it looks like this, it's very um, delicate. 1943. So this is war time, and um, what is today? And this is dated right around. Um, that is that is kind of a coincidence. It's dated February seventh. So um, as I said, it is very delicate, but I just thought it had some great images on it. And stay dainty each day with cashmere bouquet. The soap with the fragrance men love. Even blackouts don't help. Oh my goodness. That is funny. Okay. So this looks like a newspaper from the wartime. And it has this really beautiful image on front. Um, it's probably more suited for decoupage I guess but um but I will let you guys decide and let me just kind of flip through it looks like we have some maps I'm sure there's more ads if you like using ads in your projects but um there we go so here is a vintage small shopping bag A Colgate's ad here and I don't see a date but I don't see a date but it is adorable little red riding hood here is another S this particular lot is kind of um, I don't know I, I tried to make them cohesive so this one's kind of sewing shopping um kind of feminine type items so and i'm guessing this one is probably from the 20s or 30s based on the images but i don't know I I don't know. Could be. All right, so you will also get this um, stockings box, and it is full of all sorts. I wanted to keep it. It is vintage, so I thought someone could take it apart and use it for inserts or whatever projects you work on. So let's go through and see what we have here. I love these wrappers and I always save them. They come from vintage seam binding, rickrack. Here's some vintage photo corners. And I had a bunch of these quilted tulips. These are the last four I have, I believe. I was saving them for myself, but um, 
as I have said, I have to move things along. Here's another wrap. And here's a vintage tape measure that I use, but it, I wore it out and I thought somebody could use it for projects. And I just have all sorts of little bits and pieces in here. And I love these. So you'll get three of those envelopes. And these are dated 1923. I just love that handwriting. I love seeing that cursive that they did years ago. Um, I was really shocked to discover that the schools in my area have taken cursive writing out of the curriculum. So I guess it's going to be lost to the ages at some point. Here's some more of the labels. I told my grandsons that we were going to um, learn hand, uh, cursive writing together and they asked me why they don't need it. So I said, how are you going to sign your name? I mean, I'm guessing that people are still going to have to sign their names or maybe they'll just use their fingerprint. I don't know, times are moving by way too fast. There's another one of those. Oh, and then we have I love these button cards. I love the images. So you will get several of those. Some snaps. And some more buttons here. I love this one. I love this. Some needles, you know, I might, I may or may not consider keeping these because I do use that type of needle when I make baby books. So these may or may not be included. Um, actually, I'm going to throw them in because I'm looking at a larger needle that I use. This one came from England. Okay, I've decided I'm throwing Here's some vintage um, thread. And then we have more needles. Ben Franklin stores. I think we still have a Ben Franklin not too far from my house. I, I'm almost positive it's still open. I will have to double check. Um, since COVID, you just, you never know. But if it is still open, I am going to go there and film and share that with you guys because I will bet you that most of you um, do not have a Ben Franklin. Let me know in the comments below if you have a Ben Franklin around your area. Here is a vintage Gloria Vanderbilt swan with some buttons on there. And here's a vintage Dillard's receipt. I thought I found a date it was like the 80s or something but I could be thinking of something else here's some more needles and look how cute this is there's a little price sticker I saved I was going to do a junk journal um, of like a shopping kind of theme and so that's what all of this was saved for and look at this one see i'm getting so excited just looking at this stuff and let me get back to this how adorable are those little pens oh okay so they're for shank buttons okay i did not realize that all right that's cool and hook and eye loops and what do we have here? Famous Bar. Does anybody remember Famous Bar? This is 1940. $11 and 90, $11 and 90 I bet that was a lot back then. So that is cool. Some more buttons. 
and let's see I'm leaving in the sheets of paper they came with the stockings so I'm sure that can be used for something almost all of these items are vintage but I do have a few newer things And here's some vintage corners, photo mounting corners. It's never been opened. Here's some vintage flashcards, 1977. More buttons. Garter belt. And then I purchased this uh, a while back because I thought it was an apron and one of my subscribers said that she was looking for an apron pattern so I grabbed it it was 1972 and come to find out I just realized the other day when I was looking at this again it's a skirt it's not um, it's not an apron Here is, I think this was a top to scented uh, stationery. I could be wrong. But um, I thought it was beautiful and thought it could be used. Um, I think it just kind of needs to be taken apart or done something with. But it was too beautiful, I thought, to toss. Here is um, a vintage business card. And you will get a stack of vintage cards. Um, they're in envelopes, so let me just show you some of them. This one is not, and I don't think this one's been, yes, it has been used. So you'll get, that one is beautiful. There's a letter in here as well, handwritten letter from 71. Let's see, that one is beautiful. I'm guessing... This one probably was from the 70s. So you are going to get Okay, some Vintage envelopes. What is this? 1980. Here is another one. And here is a beautiful card. Okay, and then you are going to get a bag of all sorts of vintage buttons. Here is a piece of a watch. It is Louis Vuitton, but I don't know if this is authentic or not. There's not really enough to um, check. So, but I thought I was going to toss it, but I thought it would be so cute in um, a junk journal. Okay, so here is just a handful of all sorts of different things. Look at that vintage bobby pin and just all sorts of different things. Some rings and some vintage earrings. And that's a large snap. You can use this jewelry for um, dangles for charms. There's a little butterfly pendant. Some tiger's eye. Look how pretty that is. Um, I believe these are, those aren't real pearls, but they're vintage. I think there's some real pearls in here. They might be manufactured, but I believe, or cultured, whatever you call them. There's a little ring. And that might be Victoria's Secrets. I'm not sure. It says VS. So here's a little crystal bead. 
and then look at this cute little doll i thought i would include that and this adorable little um, perfume bottle that is going in there how cute would that look on the front of a junk journal and just a few more things and i think we're just about finished there's a ring here are some cute little charms their little shoes a crown oh another bobby pin another little shoe here are some sewing themed charms They're so cute and then we have this i've saint laurent label it was glued in a hat um, a faux fur hat that I purchased. So I knew that was not authentic. I just ripped the label out. I thought I could use it in a project. So that is going in there. I believe that is it for this particular lot. There's a lot of great things. This lot is going to be $50 shipped. There, there are a lot of wonderful items in here. I have collected these items for 15 plus years, probably more like 20 years. And um, so there you have it. Let's try to move on to the next lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I think I'm going to make this a two part um, video. So if you are interested in either of these two lots, I will leave the information in the description and um, it is going to be PayPal only, uh, friends and family only. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay tuned for the second part. And in the second part, um, I will show you at the end of that video what I wanted to share with you. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.